Hey there folks, Rel here. In the background you'll see some gameplay primarily from Planetside 2 as I share some thoughts on better gaming. But today we're going to be talking a little bit about making a loss feel like a win, and if not a win then just keeping a loss from feeling like a waste of time or an utter disappointment. You generally refer to these feelings of enjoyment and disappointment as your highs and your lows. And when you look at a game like Dota 2 or Heroes of New Earth, a loss is really disappointing. Usually because it feels like you've just spent the last 50 minutes playing with people who suck, or maybe just one person who sucks, and then everybody's rating is going to suffer for it. This is a low low. Likewise, in Planetside 2, you can die over and over and over and over and over again without making any progress, and for most people, that's a really low low as well. It makes you want to log out for a while, and hopefully, you'll come back later. On the other side of the coin though, there are also high highs. For example, uh, it feels really good to dumb fire an ESF out of the sky, it feels really good to go on a long frantic kill streak, and it feels really good to suicide into an enemy Sunderer and blow it up knowing that you just did something very important to change the fight. So at least in my opinion, a game like Planetside 2 has both high highs and low lows. And as you can imagine, from a game developer standpoint, it's a good idea to try to minimize these lows as much as possible, and that's where the concept of making a loss feel like a win comes into play. Titanfall felt like a pretty good example of this. If your team ended up losing the match, you'd still get a chance to redeem yourself by making it to the dropship alive. What this did is, instead of tethering your sense of accomplishment directly to your team, it gives you a reward that you're capable of as an individual, regardless of how bad your team is. It's not a solution, but it is a neat little technique to help alleviate some of the pain that goes hand in hand with a frustrating loss. If you want a much simpler example, just think back way way back to when the Tony Hawk games were pretty big on PlayStation and whatnot. If you completely bombed a run, you could just restart instantly. No lengthy intro, no absurd loading screen, no penalty for quitting. You just pause the game, you hit restart, and then you try it again. And this is kind of a bigger deal than you might think because waiting sucks. When you're waiting, you're not playing, and when you're not playing, you're not enjoying the game, which should be the core experience for most people. In competitive matches, it's a little bit different because when you get knocked out, you still had a role that you did or did not succeed at, you're picking up trends from your opposing team, and you're relaying the information to your teammates. So even though you're not present, you still have presence. In the general public game though, we just want to play and enjoy our time. In Call of Duty, much like Tony Hawk, you have near instant respawns because you can skip over the kill cams. So the pain of getting 360 no scoped goes away pretty quick. And in later games, they've even added death streaks, so that if you're doing particularly bad, they give you something that can help kind of balance the playing field. In Planetside 2, this isn't so much the case. From a moment-to-moment -moment perspective, there's a pretty significant wait from when you die to when you're allowed to respawn. If your Sunderer is blown up, or if the only Sunderer around is placed a ways away from the fight, then you have to factor in the travel time as well. You're technically playing the game if you count walking and reading the map, but it's not exactly an engaging experience, and I believe this is the reason that quick respawns were recently implemented into the game. Right now you can die instantly, in a hundred different ways, and having to sit through that timer just because you didn't know that the Sunderer you spawned onto was about to get c 4 it's punishment. And it doesn't have anything to do with strategy or awareness, it's just bad luck, coupled with the frailty of infantry in this game. Having to suffer through that doesn't really make sense. In my opinion, there are a bunch of different ways that you could mitigate that low, the low of feeling punished and waiting to respawn, some ideas probably better than others. If you removed respawn timers, for example, that could go a long way toward mitigating the punishment of death, but you'd also have to buff vehicles or lower the amount of damage that anti-vehicle weapons do, just to basically make up for the increase in infantry on the field. It would also be really annoying to the medic class, as you'd constantly see corpses disappearing instead of waiting on a revive. So that route probably would be more trouble than it's worth and would probably cause more harm to the game than good. Instead, you could lower or remove the respawn timers just if the player dies within 10 to 15 seconds of spawning. That way, you encourage spawning players to push out of the spawn room, uh, you discourage enemies from camping the spawn room as they're more prone to kamikaze attempts, and you mitigate the lows caused by frequent spawn-related deaths. Or you could go in the opposite direction and increase the survivability of infantry by a bit. Maybe bump them up to uh, max nanoweave levels by default. That way, you have at least a little bit more time to react to an incoming attack instead of getting one-shotted or bursted down 
when you end up turning the wrong corner. But maybe the change doesn't need to come from the gameplay itself, maybe it could just come from the reward system. If you look at the death screen, for example, it's shiny, it's attractive, but I know that it personally doesn't make me feel any better about my lows. It is, however, a pretty nice thing to look at during my highs. So what if, on the death screen, you were given a sort of slot machine pull every few deaths where you don't do so well? So if I die the moment that I spawn in, or if I pull an ESF and I get gibbed by a Dalton before I get to shoot anything, what if I was rewarded in some way? You pull the reel or you press the button and the slot machine rolls and then you end up with, say, you know, 250 extra experience on the low end or maybe a tier 1 implant on the high end. Basically, something that takes your mind off of the frustration of getting wrecked and actually gives you something you might be able to use to make some progress with your character. At the lower ranks, this would be more impactful to your character's development, and at the higher ranks, it would just be something neat that happened every once in a while. Granted, death isn't the only frustrating experience in Planetside 2. Not being able to find a fight that isn't camped out is a big one too. For that, it wouldn't necessarily need to be reward-based in order to alleviate that pain. You just have to encourage players who are outpopped at a base to redeploy to the next one in the lattice and set up a defense. Maybe, if you're extremely outpopped, there is a console or a teleporter in the spawn room that will let you instantly redeploy to the next base in the lattice. Or maybe it's a little bit more intuitive than that. Maybe the mission system notices that you're outpopped and then instantly sets your mission to use that console or to use that teleporter and get you onto the next base. That being said, my question to you is what creates your lows? Not just in Planetside 2, but any game you want. And what do you think could make those lows better? And also do so without directly harming someone else's experience. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. And again, this is more of a question for you to think about. But please let me know what causes your lows and what you'd like to do to fix it. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off.